Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful time. Have you ever heard of Woody and classic cars? Or Woody station wagons? If none of that rings a bell, it will ring after this video. And if it was able to jiggle your part of your brain having memories of classic cars, then you must also have thought about surfing in beach cars. We will tell you all about the Woodies in the classic era, their love story with the surfers, and what happened to them. You'll get bonus fun in this video if you love woodwork. So without further ado, let's get into the story of Woods. Woody was an automobile with a wooden body. It was a famous vintage station wagon with the body of an original wooden frame or fake wood-bodied elements. Now you must be wondering what I mean by fake wood-bodied elements. An artificial wood-like look was created through a fine polish resembling real wooden furniture. The Woody has a long and storied history that dates back to the early 20th century. It began in the 1910s when the first wood-bodied station wagons were produced. Initially, these vehicles were made commercially to transfer large objects like hunting spoils, gun racks, and ammunition shooting trips. These were the modern version of wooden carriages made of wood before the automobile era. Therefore, it was more common in contractors and commercial workers rather than the next-door family. From the 1930s to 1940s, Woodies as utility cars were manufactured with hardwood as an alternative to horse-drawn carriages, especially for the passenger section. But later, they became famous in day-to-day -day cars as well. One of the main reasons for the popularity of Woodies was the material shortage for making metal bodies of cars due to the war. For this reason, Woodies quickly got their place in the main automobile market. In the US, the Woodies were very famous and served as different forms of sedans, convertibles, and station wagons. Both coach building firms and native carpenters were manufacturing Woodies. Some famous coach builders of the 1930s made Woodies using chassis of already available automobiles and doing third party conversions. However, Ford was the leading automobile manufacturer making Woodies in their factories. Ford Model A and Ford Deluxe Station Wagon were iconic Woodies by Ford. Later, automobile manufacturers started adding steel to their construction as it became available after the war. Also, it provided more strength, durability, and safety to the car. From the 1950s to the 1960s, many major manufacturing firms like Chrysler gave up on the journey of Woody's. They quit on their DeSoto, Dodge, and Plymouth station wagons. America's last manufacturing with original wood was Buick's 1953 Super Estate Wagon and 1953 Roadmaster Estate Wagon. Ford and Mercury in 1955 and Chrysler in 1965 produced their last Woodies, but amalgamated them with other materials like steel, plastics, and vinyl. It wasn't the end of Woodies, but the demise of Woodies with original wood construction. Their replacement was simulated wood grain. The manufacturers used different materials and techniques to evoke wood construction. They started using a mixture of sheet vinyl bindings of simulated wood grain with a three-dimensional wooden framework. And sometimes the body was ornamented with a series of dented grooves. The Nissan POW and Ford Flex made people freak out at wood construction through various horizontal grooves and straights in their manufacturing. But you must be thinking, what the deal with the woodies and the surfers is? Why do surfers pop up in the discussion of woodies? As I told you earlier, people started giving up their woodies in the 1950s to get a car with a full metal body. Surfers took these given up woodies from the scrapyard because they provided space and seating capacity for a group of surfers and the surfing boards in the back of the car. In this way, the woodies again became popular with the surfers and it was often seen in beach towns along the California coast. The classic woody also became a symbol of the California lifestyle and was popularized by the Beach Boys in their hit single, Surf in USA, 1963. Talking about hit songs, woodies were also featured in many hit classic films like The Grapes of Wrath of 1940 and The Great Race of 1965. Woodies were replaced by the simulated wood grains in the later model of cars and became very rare till the 2000s. Today, woodies are highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts, and they continue to be celebrated in car shows and events worldwide. In short, the classic woody was an iconic car of its time and is still loved today by surfers and wood lovers. It is an enduring symbol of Americana that continues to captivate car enthusiasts and surfers alike. Thanks for joining us in today's special episode of Classic Cars. I hope you enjoyed learning about the woody and its many uses throughout the years. Remember to return to this channel to enjoy more mini documentaries about the classic era. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I look forward to your suggestion for future videos, so put your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video.